Hi, and welcome to the course. In this course, we're going to cover a first-person shooter animation uh, creation using the mannequin art tools and the mannequin blueprints that come inside of the uh, Unreal default project creation. We're going to cover the process of how, uh, first of all, how to get started with Maya, and we're going to talk about setting up that mannequin inside of Maya so that we can animate and adjust any animation that comes with the Unreal project. I'm going to cover uh, how you can get the weapon out of Unreal so that you can bring that into Maya and then constrain that weapon to the character, which will allow us to create animations that we can then bring into Unreal. I'm also going to cover how to export the animations from Unreal and how to bring those animations into your Maya project. This will allow you to modify those animations um, or basically just to see how those animations work inside of Maya and you might want to use some of those poses to blend into some of your custom animations. So even though you may not be using the animations or changing those animations exported out of Unreal, you might want to use some of those beginning and ending poses for the idle and the weapon fire animations that come with the project. We're also going to cover how to create a reload animation, which is not included in the default uh, first person project in Unreal. I'm also going to provide that motion capture for you so that you can import that and modify it. And I'm also going to cover how not only to clean up that motion capture for a first person perspective, but also how to create a customized uh, animation, which we'll also use to create a cinematic. Um, one other piece that we're going to cover is also how to create a camera from the first person perspective view and that'll allow us to basically see the animation inside of Maya the way that we're kind of seeing it in Unreal so we can create animations that are uh, pretty much uh, exactly how we would see them in the game engine so that we can modify them up and make them look uh, the way that we want for the actual game production. I'm also going to cover a great tool that uh, we started using recently. It's um, a motion capture tool for the camera. Uh, until recently, motion capture on, on uh, cameras are really expensive and uh, require a really um, expensive uh, type of setup. Uh, but there's been a new app called Virtue Camera, and it's a great plugin which uh, works really great with Maya. Um, unfortunately, it's only for uh, iOS at this time, so you do need to have a uh, either an iPhone or an iPad to use the uh, the app. Um, but I'm going to provide the motion capture for that as well that I created, so that if you don't have the app, you can still work with that motion capture and apply it to your scene. We'll also be covering how to animate the weapon clip out of the weapon that comes out of Unreal, so that we can create a clip that gets. Uh, animated with the motion capture animation and uh, customize that animation as well for a cinematic animation that diff that is a little bit different than the in-game animation. Lastly, what we're going to cover is how to export all of those animations out of Maya and bring them into Unreal. And then we're going to do some really basic blueprints um, to get the functionality working with adding our reload animation into uh, the blueprints and then we're also going to cover the cinematic assembly process of working with sequencer inside of Unreal so that you can get a little bit of a cinematic to go with your first person um, shooting animation. And then lastly we'll cover the animation cleanup process on how you can clean up animations uh, from Maya and then bring them into Unreal as you start um, you know, polishing your game and continuing development on that as you might want changes to the poses and animation timing, kind of show you how to work back and forth between the two to get everything lined up the way that you like it. Um, just keep in mind that the blueprints are going to be very basic. Um, this is mostly uh, a course that's going to be covering the animation process and just kind of how to get a really fundamental basic first person uh, type of game set up with a basic cinematic. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy all of those steps and uh, we'll see you in the next lecture. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.